Hello everyone, this is Tim from Dukes Games and in this video I'm gonna show you how you turn this into this. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the first thing you want to do is set up a video. I usually cut the video to a song and import it into the game. So I have this set up, the song and the video. Uh, to import your own stuff, you go to this directory, uh, go into your documents and you'll find three folders where you can import your music, your images, or your videos. All right, once you've imported your stuff, you can uh, open the video manager with pressing F4, and you'll see black shapes. This basically is your stage, or the video screens of your stage. To turn on the video screens, you can select all screens, deselect all screens, or toggle screens, uh, but you can also turn them on separately and as you can see the image adjusts itself to the video screens automatically. As you can see the um, video screens are pretty bright so to change this you can change it right here on screen brightness. I usually do 6 to 8. I think 7 should be good. And you can also make the video screen strobe by pressing left alt right here. And you can change the strobe speed with this slider right here to make it slower or faster. But yeah, let's concentrate on the visuals. To the left you have a button that's called default videos, which are basically our videos that you can use for the video screens. You have default images with some test images right here. And now is the important part, you have custom videos and custom images. I don't have any images imported, but in this list you can choose images and click on load image to display it on the stage. And you can also choose custom videos. I have some videos right here, but the thing I want to use is this one. So what I do is I click on it and it shows in this um, yeah, drop down menu right here. And you can choose if you want to play the audio of this video or not. We want to play the audio. What you want to do is load the video. So now we want to take control over the video and the song and the sound and everything. To do that we press F5 to open the video player. We have a variety of options here which is to stop the song, to play the song, to seek the song, or let's say the video, and to make it louder or quieter. And you can also toggle the 3D sound, which is basically, as you can hear, the sound is coming from the stage. It's on your left ear, your right ear. If you turn that off, 2D sound, as you can hear. All right, let's turn that on. And last but not least, you have this button right here. If you click it, it turns back to the audio player. And now you can control your audio. Not from the video, but from the music you've imported and play it on the stage. Okay, the lights, the most important thing in the game. Uh, we want to change the daytime to nighttime so we can see it better. And as you can see, we have now night and we want to turn on some lights. To do that, we press F3 to open the light manager. And we have a yeah big variety of options right here. Um, let's start with the lights. We need save slots later. I explain that in a bit. But as you can see, we have lights here. And this section right here is basically your whole stage. Every single light is listed here. And we choose some lights right here. But as you can see, they are not turned on. Why is that? Because we need to create a group. Bam. As you can see, all of our lights that we've just selected are lighting up and they are merged in a group. This group is green, the color doesn't matter, it's just for holding the groups apart later. Um, but we have a group now and we can modify this group. 
So we can do whatever we want with this with these lights that are turned on. First we can reset the group animations, we can reset the whole group if it is modified and we can remove it. We can also select whole light sections. Let's select the whole stage. Bam. Let's reset the group animations because you can see some lights are out of sync. And there we go. All lights are red now and to change the color we can choose pick color right here and go to the color picker and do every color we want to do. Let's choose green. Alright, we can also do a fading RGB effect. We can do random color and we can do each random. Looks pretty fancy. Alright, let's choose random color and for that we have a slider right here. As you can see it changes the color pretty fast. We have a slider right here which says color speed and we can turn it down to make it faster and we can turn it up to make it slower and that applies also to the fading RGB effect it fades very fast now it fades very slow if we press on each random it also applies on that alright the first slider is dimmer second slider is movement speed where you can control the animation speed of the lights. You can also stop it. To do anything with the last slider we can choose an effect right here. We can make those uh, lights flash and now we need the effect speed slider. We can turn it down to make it faster. We can turn it up to make it slower. Uh, random one, random all. It basically just does the effect which is in the name, but you can play around with it. And you can also use the effect speed slider on all of those effects. We have some more effects, also beat flash and beat RGB. That is like a beat detection. The lights will notice the beat of the sound and will flash or do RGB effects to it, which is also pretty cool. All right, let's remove that group. And we can make a couple more groups. So we have one group right here. Let's do another group. Bam. And let's do another group. Bam. I have selected the third group. And I can change the color from that group right now. Let's make it red. Let's select the second group. Let's make it pink. Or maybe blue. And the third group make it yellow. So I can choose an effect right here. Let's do chaser and it just applies for that group. Now I can change the effect from the second group. Let's make them flash. That is basically the use of the groups. You can play around with it. Okay, so what we have right here, like the whole thing, the whole lighting setup, we can save that. To save it, you can press save current. Now we can make another one. Bam. Let's make it pink and save it. And you can recall those uh, saves when you press on them. As you can see, it's our save group. Or you can do that with a numpad. So as you can see, it's save 1 and save 2. So I press the button 1 on the numpad to call this uh, save slot or this one. It goes up to 9. So <laughs> you have a bit of playing space. You can also delete them. Bam. Remove all groups. And you can start over. Is there any more to explain? Let's do it in a fast way. Uh, we can select all of the lights. As you can see, we have more options down here. We have lasers and stuff. Let's create the group. As you can see, we have lasers and tent lights, which are those lights back there. We have DJ lights, which are these little upper lights right there. We can turn everything off and on. We can copy those values and paste them to make another save slot with it. We have a threshold slider right here. If you want to do the beat detection, okay, hang on. I'm going to do that right now. Let's do beat flash and let's play the video. Make it a little bit louder. 
So as you can see, it detects the beat and we have the threshold and it gets more sensitive to the beat. All right, let's set up the pyro techniques now. Uh, to do that, you press F6 and we go into the pyrotechnics manager. Uh, you have three buttons, which is I, O and P for the depending pyrotechnics. Uh, we have small upper uh, fireworks, small lower and big upper fireworks. As you can see, the key is always uh, written down here. So those are activated with the I key. If we press I, bam, it's the upper ones right there. Um, we can change the effect, mine shiver, uh, mine fireflies, whatever you want. We can change the color of this effect. We can also uh, loop that, so it always plays. So we don't have to do anything, I'm pressing nothing right now. Uh, we can also do an offset, which is also kind of cool. We can also make it slower. Yeah. We can also do the angle of the fireworks. And we can do a sequence. Right to left. Middle to left or right. Or random. And that applies to all fireworks. Small lower, let's do strobe, make it blue, do a little offset with a sequence from middle to left right, close it and press O. Alright, let's go over to the last manager which is the crowd manager and to activate a crowd we press f7 and we have a little crowd manager right here we have the count of the crowd we can go up to uh, 3500 people the number depends on the stage we have smaller stages with a smaller count but we have bigger stages with a bigger count let's do something yeah let's do 2000 and we have an animation range. I will explain that right now. Let's do apply. So as you can see, we have a big crowd, but it does nothing. It only does something when we go near it. To fix that, we simply make it go up. Uh, you can play around with that, but it really depends on your PC, how much it can handle from the crowd. We can go up and you might see it will get a bit laggy to lesser people and you should be fine. Last thing I want to show you are some more effects of the stage. We have uh, the upper smoke machines. They get activated if you press Q. Press R for the lower flamethrowers. Upper flamethrowers with T. And big flamethrowers with Z. And we also have confetti cannons when you press U. We have the ambient lights when you press Y. We have some other ambient lights when you press X. We have blinders when you press B. We can toggle those blinders when you press C. Press it again to turn them off. And you can also toggle the video screens when you press V. Let's recall a group we have saved before and you can also make those lights flash when you press the left control key or when you hold it and yeah that's it i hope you liked that little tutorial um and i'll see you in the next video